Good evening, bonsoir. Thank you for being here. Before I begin, I'd like to thank Kevin Williams and everyone at Talon Books, to Les Smith for a beautiful cover design, to Nicole Razia Fong for her generative feedback during the early stages of editing, and of course to Katrina Strong and Charles Simard for their editorial insight and really for helping me to rethink the concept of the book, not just this book in particular, but rather the book in general, bookness. And of course, thank you to my family and friends and community of writers for supporting me over the years. And finally, but not least, thank you to all of you for being here virtually, for listening, because without listeners and readers of poetry, there simply are no poems. Jean Loss. Has it happened yet? Have you sprouted a feather, a tail, a fin, or a gill? Has a leaf or a blade of grass pushed up between your antlers? Have the heavyweight wisteria and clematis vined their way around the trellis of your shoulder blades, wrapping around the corcoid processes, latching onto the phalanges of your wings? Are you in bloom? Have you started to decompose? Have you made that lateral shift into a tangled thicket, a mutated chimerical being of light and wonder? Are you enjoying your next life as a rabbit toad? Are you evolved? Have you permitted it to happen without resistance? Has the glee of recombination taken over? Is your incarnation underway? Have there been any glitches, complications? Are you stuck in a net meant for trout or clams? Has a trap been set? Are you okay? Are you beside yourself, suspended in disbelief that you are now also part fern? Do you need a guide for the perplexed, moss on your knees, as you furrow through this horizontal transference, renegotiating a shift in molecules, dropping off the Y, sliding sideways into the X axis of infinite possibility? You are free now. You must be so happy, finally to become the leopard heron you've always known yourself to be. You're co-evolving. It's your time. You can do it. You're a boy from Brooklyn and a single-celled organism of the sea, dreaming in an ocean bed. You are becoming more you. You are composting decomposing, in transition, on your way back to becoming earth, mineral enjoyed by worms. By now, your bones are probably reduced to dust, a pulp, a fine mist. I want to help you understand these new life forms, help you shovel your way towards realizing your infinite potential, can't you see how great it is? You are asparagus and a star. Even though my gut feeling is still no, this is not okay. It's happening. Embrace the gene loss. I'm happy for you, really I am. No mother, no father, no origin. You are overlapping realities, cross-pollinating with everything. You are an arachnid hydrangea, a rattlesnake bee, a rainforest lamppost, malleable, fluid, in flux. You are cosmic intelligence. You are geology. You are changing, but the sun remains the same. You are becoming more you. You are now in process, giving off gases, an ozone unto yourself. 
You're the physics of a petal, the mathematics of rain, the sacred geometry of a trilobite encrusted in rock. You've gone primal, cut loose all ties, the knots and tassels of your remembrances clipped, committed to memory. You know all the prayers by heart. After you went Nova. Tiny pinpricks punched through a black backlit sheet of paper, a handcrafted galaxy, capitulated constellations, a milky way of want, starry starry grasping at being as such. And what if everything we saw, everything we did, everything we said, everything we said we saw, everything we said we did, and did everything we said we would, were congruent, aligned. Folding even pleats in the night sky, we become mysterious to ourselves, open, adaptable, origami, vision of impossible proportion. We sharpen the folds, defining our creases with a filed whalebone that feels good to hold. We meet our edge, we close our eyes, we envision 1,000 of us taking flight, a wish to live more simply. Waking, we are greeted by the morning star. When it's over, I'll have moved to Marfa, Texas, in impenetrable aloneness, a plot of land, a tiny home, green beans and cherry tomatoes, corrugated, contained, bending the possibility of possibility. Seeing from the inside, together, we emerge in congruence, lighter somehow, who knew this being as such would go on being after you went Nova? By obscure means, we alter each other. In a future perfect, we will have become who the other ought to have been. The door of this. Between here and somewhere lies a lopsided disjunctive bar, a setup for a supreme deviation from life and its sumptuous interface. An atmospheric clouding denotes a subliminal lingual domination, burning the toads of cognitive dissonance in the face of death. Watering, wanting to grow the terrain, consubstantial visions, a story of water, plastic passions and sunken skulls in the shadow's light as an alternative. To repurpose our being here, a euphoric solitude with a palette for the infinite. Days, when voluntary delusion in an artificial paradise will have seemed just fine. Called, calling the innermost monitor, a reciprocal sense of self to the other spaces we inhabit. In the moments prior to a sheath, a layer, a shroud, never a wholesale merger, settles into irreconcilable sediment. At the bottom, it is always difference. At odds with what will have been or become submerged in a connective medium. Vibration partitioned by stretches of gauze, each abode also a node, the soul enters within itself in folds. 
vacuoles, empty cells, porous spaces, sheer husks lined by translucent skins. Still, we catapult toward something. Encapsulated in catacombs, the sinew of dream voids held by an infinite net of night. And before I close with this last poem, again, thank you to everyone at Talon Books and to all of you for being here. Tree Line. Along the cliffs and crags, folds and faults, we gather our complicit parts, moving headlong into the rock face, edging ever closer to meaning. We scale the flank, lip, and shoulder of this dark passage at the brink of breath. Shouldering the howling, holy, 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 holy. We will have made it past the landslip and above the leafiest of tree lines. This lovely rarefied air makes it hard to breathe but in it, we are so alive. Cedared to the rafters, oaked to oblivion, spruced to the brim, branching ever skyward in an arborization of words. Thank you.